Well, if we can find one silver lining in this whole pandemic economic disaster we're dealing with right now, it's that we have kids being educated at home. Sorry, you can yell all you want. I'm a fan of it. Granted, I'm not the one stuck educating our kids, but let's be honest, people. Our public school system in the United States of America is a disaster. It is an absolute disaster. You know how I know this? Because I listen to a lot of podcasts. I talk to as many parents and young people in my neighborhood as I, as I possibly can. Just trying to gauge, you know, real life. Not New York City bubble, D.C. bubble stuff. I try to gauge real life, well, what real people go through. And the truth of the matter is this. <clears throat> young people, they don't like America. And the reason they don't like America is they learn in school that it sucks. That's true. Our education system teaches young people how crappy the United States of America is. On top of that, let's just be honest. Public school, it's an all-access club where everybody's allowed in. Now, that may sound nice to you. you. You can say things like, yeah, everyone should be allowed in. But is that a club you want to go to? Of course not. You want to go to exclusive clubs. You know why you don't want to go to the all-access club? Because you're going to meet nine people you love, and there are nine people who are cool, and all of a sudden, there's one person who has to shoot up the place. Because the bottom part of society drags down everybody else. That's just a fact. And the truth of the matter is this. You have these horrible parents who treat their kids like crap, and they drop them off in school, and they expect the school to do the parenting of the poor child, and your kid, who's there to get an education, doesn't get near the attention he needs. And if he does get the attention he needs, he's learning about what? What do they learn about America in school? You talk to a kid these days? I do a lot. You know what they learn? They learn three main things about America. This is where they spend all their time. They learn that we slaughter the Indians. They learn about slavery. They learn about civil rights. And right about then, they wrap things up. Right about the time the commies start executing over 100 million people worldwide, I think we've covered enough history. We don't need to go into that. Gee, I wonder why that is. So I like it that America's kids are home now and getting an education at home. And oh, talk to some of these teachers who have to deal with kids who've been homeschooled and kids who've been to public school. Find out what they have to say about it. Find out what they have to say about the education levels of kids out there. So it's a great thing, right? These kids are home, they're getting more attention. Well, no, it's a great thing for you. It's a great thing for me, for the left, who has had their dream realized of kids being taken away from their parents and educated by the government for years? Well, they don't like it because in a leftist mind, the kids belong to the government. We have never invested as much in public education as we should have because we've always had kind of a private notion of children. Your kid is yours and totally your responsibility. We haven't had a very collective notion of these are our children. So part of it is we have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. Once it's everybody's responsibility and not just the households, then we start making better investment. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> we have to break, break away from this idea that kids belong to their parents? They belong to everybody? These people are insane. No, no, my parents do not, my kids do not belong to that nutball. I promise you that. In fact, if I have my way, my kids will never be in the presence of somebody like that. But that's what they want, and they want it for a reason. This is no different than any other version of leftism that has ever existed. You must take away all the influence except for leftism. It can be the only thing that exists. If you give people options, if you give them education outside of that, they will inevitably choose something else. So you must eliminate everything and only be leftists. That's why they're that way. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.